20 Scams in 20 Minutes In the shadowy underbelly of the digital age, a rogues gallery of scams lurk, ready to ensnare the unsuspecting and the greedy alike. From the high-stakes world of cybercrime to the manipulative realm of social engineering, these 20 scams are the dark arts of the fraudulent elite. Hey, buddy. Come on, man. Yes, sir. King Tomorrow, motherfucker. Join us as we uncover the depths of deception, exploring each sinister scheme in a race against time. But beware, the allure of easy money is overshadowed by the inevitable downfall. This is not just a list, it's a cautionary tale of the perilous path of crime. Scam number one, refund scam. Risk of jail, high. Stupidity level, ranges from stupid to extremely stupid. Overview, refunding scams involve convincing a company that they made a mistake in shipping a product, allowing you to keep the product and get your money back. Methods include claiming the box was empty or creating a fake tracking number designed to get lost in the shipping system. This can earn scammers $100 to $5,000 a day. A more advanced version involves creating multiple accounts and exploiting return policies, as one person did with Amazon textbooks, though he eventually went to jail. Scam number 2, Online Carding. Risk of jail, extremely high. Stupidity level, extremely stupid. Overview, carding involves buying stolen credit card information online and using it to purchase expensive items, which are then delivered to a drop address. The scammer avoids detection by using VPNs, proxies, and other tools. While this can yield $1,000 to $20,000 a day, the risk of being caught and jailed is high. Scam number 3, Survey Scams. Risk of jail, low. Stupidity level, kind of stupid. Overview, scammers use surveys offering free items to collect credit card information. The survey appears legitimate, and after the user spends time filling it out, they are asked for a small payment for shipping. This scam can make $1,000 to $10,000 a day. Scam number 4, Phone Scams. Risk of jail, very high. Stupidity level, very high. Overview, scammers persuade desperate people to buy phones on credit and then hand them over for a small payment. The scammer sells the phones for a higher price, potentially making thousands a day. This can escalate to using fake IDs and credit profiles to acquire multiple phones. This can bring $100 to $1,000 or more a day. Scam number 5, Bank Loading. Risk of jail, very high. Stupidity level, very stupid. Overview, this scam involves using legitimate business account details to print fake checks and deposit large sums of money into personal accounts. Once the money is available, the scammer withdraws it. This scam can make $50,000 to $60,000 a day but is highly illegal and likely to result in jail time. Scam number 6, Combos. LOL, anybody can flex $300 in 20s. $300, first of all, this is not no $300, this is a bank roll. Okay, I'm gonna flex $300 in 20s. This is a bank Overview, this involves using credentials from data breaches to access accounts on other sites. For example, a Minecraft account password might also work on a Pizza Hut account, allowing the scammer to order free food. This scam can make $500 to $1,000 a day. Scam number 7, Credit Profile Scams. Risk of jail, extremely high. Stupidity level, extremely stupid. Overview, Using stolen personal information, scammers apply for credit cards and loans in the victim's name. They then max out these credit lines and do not repay them, leaving the victim in debt. This scam can make $10,000 to $20,000 a day but carries a high risk of jail. Scam number 8, Bank Log Spamming. Risk of jail, medium. Stupidity level, medium. Overview, this scam involves sending phishing texts or emails that appear to be from a bank, tricking victims into entering their login details on a fake site. The scammer then accesses the victim's account and transfers the money. This can make $10,000 to $50,000 a day. Scam number 9, Office Log Spamming. Risk of jail, medium. Stupidity level, medium. Overview, similar to bank log spamming, but targets company accounts on platforms like Slack or Office 365. The scammer gains access to sensitive company information and uses it to redirect payments or gain other financial benefits. This scam can make over $100,000 but requires significant setup. Scam number 10, Credit Scams. Risk of jail, zero, if done legally. Stupidity level, none. Overview, understanding and manipulating the credit system legally can yield significant financial benefits. 
This involves knowledge of how to build and maintain a strong credit profile and use it to access high-value loans and credit lines. Scam number 11, phishing for credit card information. Risk of jail, high. Stupidity level, extremely stupid. Overview, phishing scams involve creating fake websites or sending emails that look like they come from legitimate companies to trick people into entering their credit card information. This information is then used or sold for profit. The scam can earn significant amounts of money but comes with a high risk of getting caught and facing severe legal consequences. Scam number 12, fake job offers. Risk of jail, medium. Stupidity level, very stupid. Overview, scammers create fake job listings to collect personal information and sometimes even charge fees for supposed background checks or training materials. Victims end up providing sensitive information or paying money without ever getting a real job. This scam can generate substantial amounts of money, especially if large numbers of people are targeted. Scam number 13, fake tech support. Risk of jail, high. Stupidity level, extremely stupid. Overview, scammers pretend to be from tech support companies and claim that the victim's computer is infected with a virus. They then charge for unnecessary services or gain remote access to the victim's computer to steal sensitive information. This scam can be quite profitable but is illegal and highly risky. Scam number 14, lottery scams. Risk of jail, high. Stupidity level, extremely stupid. Overview, victims are informed that they have won a large sum of money in a lottery or sweepstakes and must pay a fee to claim their prize. This scam often targets vulnerable populations and can generate substantial sums of money for the scammer, but it is illegal and unethical. Scam number 15, romance scams. Risk of jail, medium. Stupidity level, very stupid. Overview, scammers create fake profiles on dating sites and social media to build relationships with victims, eventually asking for money for various fabricated emergencies. Scam number 17, rental scams. Risk of jail, medium. Stupidity level, very stupid. Overview, scammers post fake rental listings to collect deposits and personal information from prospective renters. Victims may arrive at the property to find it doesn't exist or isn't available for rent. This scam can yield substantial amounts of money but is illegal and can lead to prosecution. Scam number 17, rental scams. Risk of jail, medium. Stupidity level, very stupid. Overview, scammers post fake rental listings to collect deposits and personal information from prospective renters. Victims may arrive at the property to find it doesn't exist or isn't available for rent. This scam can yield substantial amounts of money but is illegal and can lead to prosecution. Scam number 18, investment scams. Risk of jail, high. Stupidity level, extremely stupid. Overview, scammers promise high returns with little or no risk to entice people to invest in fraudulent schemes. These can include Ponzi schemes, fake stock auctions, and other investment opportunities that are too good to be true. Victims often lose significant amounts of money, and the perpetrators can face severe legal consequences. Scam number 19, charity scams. Risk of jail, high. Stupidity level, extremely stupid. Overview, scammers create fake charities or pose as representatives of legitimate ones to solicit donations. They often exploit natural disasters or other crises to appeal to people's generosity. While this scam can be very lucrative, it is highly unethical and illegal, with severe penalty. Scam number 20, identity theft. Risk of jail, high. Stupidity level, extremely stupid. Overview, identity theft involves stealing someone's personal information to commit fraud, such as opening credit accounts, filing taxes, or making purchases. This crime can have devastating effects on the victim's financial and personal life. It is illegal and punishable by severe penalties. So let me get this straight. You think 350000 is my life savings? <laughs> <laughs> you funny. I'm having plenty money, big dog. Plenty money. Plenty money. Plenty money!